everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Leanna today I'm going to be doing something that I had planned on doing quite a while ago and just never got around to and it's gonna be a, a little series where I kind of talk you through ways to pair color and since I'm wearing pink today I thought we could start with the color pink and kind of work from there so I am going to show you a photo of a color wheel I'm not sure which one yet. <laughs> There's quite a few different photos of color wheels that you can find online. They're all a little bit different, um, but you know, the theory behind them is basically the same. So when you look at pink uh, and red and all that, across from that is green. And with color theory, when you pair colors, the easiest way is to choose one color and then go across from that. So if you're choosing pink, then a safe bet is to pair it with green. And the other way that you can do this is also to go with like colors. So if you're choosing pink, then you could also go with different shades of pink or go with the colors that are right next to that. So pink would be closest to red and purple. So today I'm going to show you how to pair pink with green. And I'm gonna do that on one eye. On the other eye, I'm just going to show you how you can just do whatever you want and it's probably going to turn out okay. The beginner way to do this is obviously just to go straight across and find your opposite color but the advanced way is honestly just play around have some fun and it's probably going to turn out fine so we'll do one of each and we'll just see how it goes so there's some pink and green in this palette here this is the dupes palette by juvia's place and this is going to be a good place to start i feel so i'm going to take the shade up here which is creme and i'm going to put that in the crease and i'm going to use uh, this eye, which is my right eye, and use this as the pink and green side. So creme is sort of a salmon pink matte, and that's going right in my crease. Turn up the light a little bit. I'm going to take crepes, which doesn't look like it's pink, but it's <laughs> in the pan. It looks more like a brown red, but uh, on the eye, it's kind of like a pink red. So I'm going to take crepes on a smaller blending brush and put that lower down through the crease. I'm also going to blend that on the outer corner. I think my camera was out of focus. It should be in focus now. Using the same small blending brush, I'm just taking more crepes to blend the edges. Or, pff, taking more cream, sorry. Crepes was the red shade. Now with a wet brush, I am taking the shade Macarons, which is a shimmery sort of grass green. It's not quite a mint green. And that's going to go on the empty space on my lid. So kind of the inner two-thirds. I'm kind of just taking my blending brush to stamp over the edge of the green and the pinky red shade on the lid. Make sure the edges are blending together. I'm just going to take kind of a mix of the pink shades on my lower lash line. I'm just going to put a green duochrome in the corner. So this is green emerald from the Alchemist palette. I'm 
and put that under the brow bone. On the other eye, I'm going to take Marigold from Igneous Cosmetics, which is a matte bright mustard yellow, and that's going to go in the crease. For the pink, I'm using Pink Lemonade by M Cosmetics. And this is a pink gold duochrome and it's metallic it's really really beautiful i haven't used this on camera though i've used it a lot off camera so i thought that i would just show you and this is just gonna go all over the lid it's gonna pair really well with the yellow because there is some golden yellow reflect in here. Pink Lemonade is really the perfect shade name for this. And this is uh, just a dry brush. If you wanted to use your finger, if you wanted to wet the brush, it would probably make it a lot more intense, but it looks just lovely on its own. On the lower lash line, this is Fault Line by ColourPop. It's a blue purple duochrome focus on my face again thank you it's kind of a satin it's not really a metallic it's a blurple I'm taking soul by Cleona cosmetics it's like a yellow gold with a teal reflect it's a metallic duochrome just taking a little bit right on the center of the lid and on the inner corner and the brow bone. And just for fun, I'm going to take the NYX Vivid Brights eyeliner in Vivid Violet. Do a very, very minimalist wing. I have a feeling that this eyeliner is basically crapped out. Okay. <laughs> so we have the go with the flow, whatever you want eye, and this is the opposite to tract eye. <laughs> and so I'll just zoom out and kind of finish the rest of the face. Now if you were wearing one cohesive look, finishing the rest of the face would probably be a lot easier. I'm wearing two different eye looks here, so I'm just going to go with what matches on each side. One of my favorite blushes that goes really well with either look here is by Piranata. This is their Press Mineral Cheek Color, and it's in the shade Sweet Pea. And this is sort of like a, a matte blush that's a neutral pink, so it's going to go with a lot of different looks, but it's going to go really well with looks that do have pink and purple, red in them. Oh yes, and I did go back in and add a little bit of winged liner on this side just so that it balanced out. I'm also going to use a little bit of highlighter. This is the M Cosmetics Cream Pearl Highlighter, which is a cool toned pink. It has, not cool toned pink, a cool toned white. It has a little bit of pink in it. At least it does on my skin tone. And for lips, again, it's hard because I'm wearing two different eye looks here. Because I would tend towards wearing something that is actually quite pink. Probably a bit brighter on this side. Whereas on this side, I would probably go for something more nude. 
And of course, it's totally up to you either way. I do have this little mini lip gloss that came in a hard candy set. It is called their Cashmere Silk Demi Matte Cream Lip Color. And it does have some color to it, which you'll see here. It's kind of a nude pink gloss. It's a really pretty color. It goes with my natural lip color really nice. I figured we'll just split the difference here and go with the nude because nude will go with either look. And so here is and so here's two different ways to wear pink. This is how you would wear it with green if you wanted to just go opposite on the color chart. And here's a way to wear it with a few different colors if you wanted to do it that way as well. Again, you could go with pretty well anything. I find that experimenting is really fun and you can come up with a lot of different color combinations and just like do really interesting things on the inner corner and really just find pairings that you probably wouldn't have thought of before. So it's really up to you. Again, if you're a beginner and you don't really know what to pair a color with, the color the color wheel is probably a good way for you to introduce yourself to color pairings. And I will keep doing this for different colors. Let me know if you would like to see how to pair a color with a bunch of different random things if you feel like it wouldn't really go and you want to see it actually done because maybe you're afraid to try something and you want to see that it would actually work. Now granted different things work differently on different skin tones. It is a lot about finding the right shade that works for you. It's not always just about a color. It's about the undertone and the depth of it. So it's always something to keep in mind there too, but let me know if this is something that works for you if you want to see the color wheel opposites on one side and then something different on the other side, or if you'd rather just see one cohesive look, let me know and I can do that too. And uh, that's going to be it for this video, so I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts down below. I have all of my links to other content down in the description as well as which products I used if you'd like to see that and subscribe if you want to. If you want to see other videos, then obviously that's down below too. And if you don't want to, that's okay. I'll just see you in the next video and hope you have a wonderful day. Bye everyone.